Hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Splatoon 2 single player awesomeness. In the previous part, I took on this level over here, which allowed me to gain access to the slosher bucket weapon thing. It's a bucket! It's not my favorite, but I know that it's a fan favorite. Anyway, now that level 10 is done, I must seek out level 11. So if you excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There's a level over here. Are you level 11? You're level 14. I don't need you just yet. In due time! But not yet. You know, I probably could have an entire level dedicated to me just exploring this hub world trying to find levels because chances are this isn't level 11 either. 15! I'll need you in the future, but I don't need you yet. I gotta get the designer's props for creating such a diverse hub world this time around. Not that it wasn't diverse before, but man, it's like actually tricky trying to find these levels, but it's so rewarding once you actually do it. Alright, come here. Come to me! Yes, excellent! I will find this level, darn it! Oh, uh, do I dare take on this balloon challenge? Alright, I dare. I dare indeed. Let's go. Can I, um, I guess I can access all of them. I guess at any point I can access all of them. I just have to make sure I've navigated this map enough to be able to find all of them. There you go, I'll take that. Where'd it go? Where is it now? No! Wait! I'm not done yet! Oh, well... I guess I'll have to do that balloon challenge another day, huh? Whoa! No! <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a stupid mistake. It wouldn't be a Schiller video without one. Although, maybe I can use this to my advantage. Because I never quite explored this part of the area over here. I can't ink that, but maybe I can just swim through here. Let's be careful. Let's go for it! Yeah! There's a level over here, but is it the level that I need? That's the important thing. It is! Level 11! Ah, uh, you were hidden away. You were tricky to get to, but I found you, the floating garden chasing heartache. All right, and it has a Sheldon request. So I guess I'm not using my default splatter shot weapon, but that's fine. Are you gonna give me a new weapon? I think I have like every weapon type except for a Gatling gun. Hero Duelies. Ah, double wielding it, huh? This is one of those levels where I get to look super stylish. Super stylish! And remember, the main gimmick behind the Splat Duelies is that you roll around when you press the jump button while shooting. If you want to jump while shooting, well, then you have to stop moving. There we go. Nice. And I guess I'm just going to go to the level as planned, and hopefully I'll find all the collectibles along the way, because I have yet to play one of these levels where I did not find all the collectibles along the way, so hopefully this isn't the first level where that happens. But if it does happen, I'll post timestamps in the description accordingly. I mean, I'll do that anyway. I always post timestamps in the description in case you guys don't want to have to watch the entire video. But if you want to see me mess around, and if you want, if, if, if you guys want to see my reactions to everything that happens on this level, by all means, watch the entirety of the video. But if you just want to see where the sunken scroll is, or where the sardinium is, or where any other collectibles are, well, that's what the timestamps in the description are for. I try to cater to both sides. I try to cater to that professional side that just wants to see how to get stuff done. And I like to cater to that other side that likes to see my reaction to things and likes to get amusement out of my terror or my excitement. I don't know. Also, Shonen was saying something about using bombs, but I don't know if bombs are the most optimal thing to use here. They use up so much ink, Sheldon. They use up so much ink. There we go, you're done. But I gotta find the one that has the key, right? That's the main idea behind this level, is I'm chasing these guys around. This this level was called, like, Chasing Heartache or something, right? So, i get you. You're gonna give me a key, thank you. However, these levels have taught me to become super anxious and stingy about where they hide collectibles. So before I go on this launch pad, I'm gonna do a thorough inspection of this part of the level because I feel like there could be some sort of secret item here. This just seems like the part of the level where there'd be one. This little net over here seems a bit suspicious, but I guess that's just a way for me to fall off, right? So, okay, we'll keep going. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. If you didn't see anything on the screen, then I guess I didn't miss anything. Um, don't be down, dumb about it, but charge! All right, all right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I got armor. I'll take the armor. I doubt I'll be able to keep it for the entirety of the level, but I can try. Oh, oh guess I'm not getting the balloon. That's fine. Boom, key, but again, no collectibles. It's very, very suspicious to me that there are no collectibles on this level just yet. It just seems like there'd be one. I highly doubt they're going to hide both these collectibles at the very end of the level, but I suppose they could. But then again, there's probably still plenty more to this level. And I'm just being a little over superstitious about it, if that word exists and makes sense. Let's see. Overly superstitious? I don't know. It's like saying very unique, right? Ah, there we go. 
Very unique doesn't make sense because unique already means one of a kind. So how can you be very one of a kind? Oh. Ah, a box! Ah, a ticket! A good ticket! A, a ticket that I want to have! There we go! Well, I found the ticket! Just a box showed up and I got it. You know, now I'm kind of curious if all the levels have tickets in them. Because if they do, I guess I can go back and get them and make a compilation video of all the times you can get a ticket in these levels. But, for now, I mean, maybe I will do that at the end of the level anyway. Make a Sunken Scroll compilation or make a Sardinium compilation. I don't know. I Maybe people have already done that, but it could be worth it for me to do that. Those compilation videos have their usage. I did that for Bomberman 64 The Second Attack for anyone that wanted to use them. And apparently people did use my compilation video, so it worked out. Alright, anyway, let's see. How you doing, man? You doing? You're just going to go back and forth around this tree? Just going to go back and forth around this tree? You're not even going around the tree. You're just staying on one side of the tree. Well, that was your downfall now, wasn't it? There we go. I'll take this. Thank you. Now, that's the key, but I feel like there's something over here. Please don't mark the end of me. It marked the end of me! Well, curiosity sometimes gets the best of me. Okay, so this time I shall not be randomly jumping off this level like a curious fool. Instead, I shall just go along normally and hope that there are no collectibles within this area. Okay? Hopefully that's okay, because if there is a collectible here all along, then I will look like an even bigger moron. But we're going to hope for the best. Here we go. Let's keep it going. And just a random platform over here that will put me onto a rail. Okay. It's rail time. No collectibles over here. Let's shoot all the balloons then! Because maybe shooting all the balloons will get me something. All the balloons! Or they'll just give me extra salmon eggs, which are always nice. Or salmon eggs, ugh. That, I don't think these are salmon eggs. I think that's for... That's for... Are these salmon eggs? I don't remember anymore, because they're salmon run. Oh, I'm getting my own facts confused. I'm trying to look for collectibles. Darn it. Whatever. Don't think too much about it. Here we are. Eggs. They're just eggs. Okay, I'm getting eggs that I can use to upgrade my equipment. Ah, uh, there's definitely a collectible down there. That just screams a collectible location. Or a location with a collectible. Because I'm not trying to collect the location. I'm trying to go to a location where I can collect a collectible. Let's try this. There's something down here. If anything, I have to go down here to get a key. So, I'm going down here. Oh. Whoa, nope, 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 you had the sunken scroll within you. I'll take that, thank you. Now I can only hope that I didn't miss the sardinium up to this point. If it's anything like the previous level, the sardinium is probably at the very end of the level, so I will keep my eyes and splat dualies on the ready. Here we go, just gonna keep going around. And I doubt that they'd hide the sardinium and the sunken scroll in the same location, but this is a big, this is a bigger part of the map so far, so it is possible that they could hide something else here. But we might be okay. I'm not seeing anything else, but maybe that's the idea of them hiding it. But perhaps I'm overthinking things. Let's just keep going, huh? I can always locate it on my own time later if I haven't found it already. All right, let's keep going. Take cover behind that wall. Nah, I'm going to brute force it. It might mark the enemy, but I'm going to do it. Double dualies. Ah! Oh! I'm okay. Well, my armor is gone. But my integrity, I like to think is still there. Am I okay? We're good. There's nothing back over here. I can go back to the launch pad if I need to, so... I'm not seeing anything, though. I think I'm in the clear, so I am just gonna keep going. I, I don't think that there's much of this level remaining, though. I gotta think I'm nearing the end of the level, which makes me both worried and excited, because on the one hand, it means that the Sardinium can't possibly be too far away from here if I haven't found it already. But then that's the other thing. I may not have found it already. Maybe it was on an earlier part of the level. I don't know. Let's keep it going. Let's just keep looking and hope for the best. This is a bigger part of the level again. So the Sardinium could very well be somewhere over here. But that was the final checkpoint. The music is slightly a uh, faster, higher pitch something. Whatever they do for the final checkpoint music in this game. So, but, okay. I have a bunch of enemies over here. Take you all out. I got a key, but there's a lot of different things over here, so maybe one of these things has a collectible in it. There's just a lot of stuff going on now, which is kind of cool, and I guess I'm supposed to be like rolling around with my dualies, but I think it's just faster for me to swim. I don't need to get style points right now. I don't need that finesse. I just need eggs and sardinium. There we go. Let's keep going. You're done. You're done. You've been defeated. That is a special weapon, which I imagine I was supposed to use to take out all the enemies in this area, but I'm going to hang on to it and get bonus eggs at the end. 
Also, I can get on this upper platform over here. I would suspect that there's some sort of collectible on this upper area. No, maybe if I keep going along, because this is too easily accessible. There's gonna be something over here. Maybe another box is gonna pop up and give me another ticket. A good ticket. Nothing? Nothing is over here? Considering you can't use ink to climb up here and you have to kind of go around the back of the level to get something. All right. Well, if there's nothing on this thing now, there's going to be a future level where there will be something on something like this. That's a lot of some things. But hopefully my sentence made sense. Ah, oh, the sardinium! It wasn't there all along! I found it. I got the sardinium. It's fine. We don't have to worry about anything anymore. You're done. You're all done. Okay? Cool. Dead. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's take all that. Another key. That's the key I need to leave. I have all my collectibles. I got a ticket. I got a sardinium. I got a sunken scroll. So I guess now I can beat the level with this special weapon as an extra and feel pretty good about myself. Let's go, let's take that zapfish, let's get the heck out of here. Guys, I would like to apologize for my curiosity taking too long. That sentence doesn't make sense. I would like to apologize for me taking too long to find things because of my curiosity. But I found everything and that's what counts. All right, let's see, oh, yep, I got the ticket. Cool, I'll use that one day. For now, let's see what the sunken scroll has to say. Major changes to regulations by the powers that have, uh, Major changes to regulations by the powers that be have led to a call for the complete replacement and overhaul of all special weapons. Designers and manufacturers are struggling to comply with this new regulation. So I think this is something I said before. If I didn't say it in single player, then I said it in one of my Splatoon 2 ink it up videos. All the special weapons in this game are new. There are some that are similar to Splatoon 1 special weapons like the bomb rush and stuff like that, but they're all new. Now, I believe the designers did that because they felt that Splatoon 1 relied too heavily on special weapons, but I guess they're trying to tie it into some story-related element, and I think that that's cool. But anyway, that wraps up this part of Splatoon 2 single player, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I take on level 12, which is located back there in the distance. Let's take it on. Bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I post videos every day, so if you want to be notified for when my next video goes out, please be sure to subscribe by clicking on my icon right there in the center. And please be sure to follow me on Twitter. My tag is at RealYoShiller. Thanks a bunch. See you all in future videos. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh.